Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to share with you some of my tips for finding accommodation in Australia. Um, the case in point is Victoria, um, Melbourne, Victoria. So uh, before, uh, before you arrive uh, in Australia, uh, you may consider um, booking accommodations, book accommodation um, uh, with your university. So university normally have you know on campus accommodation for students. So make sure that you sign up for that one. Um, also for those students who you know prefer to live outside, uh, you're welcome to do so. But before you come, uh, I would definitely recommend booking uh, some sort of temporary accommodation. For example, uh, temporary accommodation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, with um, Airbnb. So you may choose any other channel that you know, but this is one of the, the things that I uh, I used to do. So basically, you can book for one or two weeks to find you know before you you are able to find the accommodation. Okay. So uh, once you arrive, uh, once you arrive, and you know obviously if you already uh, if you are offered accommodations already on campus at your university for example there's no question about that but if you want to continue to find uh, you know to explore the options to live outside of campus again you are welcome to do so now i would recommend uh, start early um, in looking for uh, a rent rental room so we need to start early because um, right now when the, the pandemic is almost over or things have changed a lot since it started, then uh, the, the number of rooms become more and more limited. So um, you need to, to start early looking for the rental room. Now, there are a few channels um, where to find accommodation. Well, there are a few channels that you I strongly recommend you to search for, uh, you know, possible accommodation. Um, the system of recommendation, when you use it, you gotta be very uh, careful and, you know, have to read very clear what is included in the contract or whatever it is. Well, the first one is flatmate.com. So uh, if you click on that, um, it will lead you to a page where you can, um, Put in if, if you're Victoria, you can room. Uh, if you're Clayton, you can say Clayton Melbourne two one six eight. Search and it got you know give you option to uh, to view and you know to select you know your budget and the locations and like that. So that is the first uh, the first one. The second one is um, another one is domain.com. So the same thing with domain. Domain also allows you to search for properties and room. The domain uh, is more in terms of the finding, uh, renting house and buying rather than room. But I, I do believe you. Um, um, oh uh, no, this th is not the one I'm talking about. That should be uh, domain AU houses. Wait, I'm just give you another one. Yep, this is not the page. Sorry. So this should be the page though. Okay, domain.com.au. So yeah, if you click on rent and just again uh three one six eight Clayton for example and then you, you will find you know all sort of uh, available options. Um it, you have option for renting the whole house. So if you you can team up with other friends uh to rent a house together, but again it's very competitive. Uh look for room. Uh I do believe that there are rooms. Okay, um, where to find accommodations? Um, another one is, uh, let me just say, uh, let me, I've kind of forget the, a uh, real estate, right, right. So that will be real estate. Come, another page, real estate. Uh, this is equally big, important. So click on rent, Clayton, and such. So, you know, then you have a lot of options for you to do. So these are the three main um, pages, websites that I recommend, but also uh, talk to your friends, uh, friends in local community. Um, 
it depends on on um, the country where you're from. If you're from China, from Vietnam, you can find uh, Indonesia, for example. You can find the local community there. Talk to your friends, and probably somebody will have available rooms for you to rent as well. All right. So yeah, for the other things in terms of the legal, uh, in terms of the uh, when signing lease. Yeah, um, so give me a minute. So, when so in terms of the legal issue, um, let me just quickly to pull out this one. Yeah, so for example, if you click on study Melbourne, there will be some sort of the guy like how to find accommodation and some le legal issue when you sign a lease. You want to make sure you read very carefully the lease because once you sign the lease, you cannot uh, just you know break break away from it. You cannot just stop because you have to pay for the full full fee for the whole period. If you sign a lease for one or two years, then for two years, for example, then that literally means you cannot just uh, stop and move out. You have to pay. The, the rent fee for the whole two years so you have to be very careful um, yeah you have to be very careful and uh, other things like living with the the landlord the owner you want to find the, the one who is uh, thoughtful nice as well um, the one who doesn't have many strict rules like how many times can you wash your clothes or things like that so you, you need to really talk to them about the regulation if you, you are going to share also sharing bills uh view sharing uh rules uh on regulations uh time um locking door time thing like that whatever you think is important you gotta think about it ahead right so yeah that's yeah that's 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 pretty much uh my suggestion uh, for other please probably try to wallet it or to ask as the university uh, support um, if you're from an edge university for example uh, accommodation um, support for example you just um, this university will have some sort of services and support for you if you're not sure you can talk to them okay on off campus thing like that right so this one's a wrap up the um, my discussion today thank you for watching see you next time in the next video thank you and bye for now